Hi, this is John. Welcome to another video. Today I want to demonstrate one of the new guided edits in Photoshop Elements 2022. And these are found under the Special Edits tab on this ribbon at the top. And the one I'm going to show today is called Extend Background. I already have a photo open in the photo bin, a nice beach picture, which I want to use for my Facebook cover. Now, the first step in this uh, guide edit is to choose a canvas size. And if we click on this pull down menu, we can see we have a lot of presets um, available for social media and also for paper size like A4, A3, um, and uh, letter landscape, letter portrait. So I'm going to choose Facebook cover for the purpose of this demo and instantly um, you can see the areas that are going to be extended on the left and right of the picture. Now there are two methods. The first is autofill or the second is extend. Um, autofill sometimes does a good job, sometimes not. So let's give it a try by clicking the autofill button and wait for um, elements to um, uh, perform its operation. It takes a few um, seconds. You can see the kind of progress bar for the fill to stretch the canvas. And you can see there's quite a bit of distortion on the right here from the ocean and also part of the, um, the, the, the children. So I'm going to go top right and undo that and start again. Choosing once again Facebook cover and on this occasion we'll choose the extend method. Now you can see under the extend method we have um, some extra options. We have a protection brush plus and minus, the minus being the eraser. Um, and we can uh, paint over the area that we want to protect. So clicking the plus protection button I'm going to increase the um, brush size using the square brackets key on the keyboard. You can hear me tapping away. And anybody who's familiar with Recompose um, will know how to protect the um, the subject they, they wish to protect. I'm going to actually paint over the shadows as well because I want those to be undistorted or not distorted. And having done that, click Done and again wait for the progress. And this time Elements has done a pretty good job. It's um, extended the canvas and the subject and shadows have been um, protected. So what we can do now is um, is make any further adjustments using spot healing. I think in this particular case I'm quite happy with it as it is. So let's click Next and we have the option to save the file or go into expert mode. So I'm going to go into expert mode and you can see that um, a guided edit layer has been automatically created. If I click on the eyeball you can see the before and the after. Um, I think what I'm going to do is add some text to this um, particular photo um, for the Facebook cover. On the top um, left there's quite a bit of space, so let's use that. Let's click on the T tool for the, uh, for the type tool. And let's choose a colour blue. And I'll just type something like fun in the sun. and click the green check mark and use these handles to resize it by just dragging outwards. I'm going to right click and choose warp. The new warp tool lets me apply one of the presets um, in the uh, wave will be quite good. Um, rise is okay. You can see we have all these built-in um, presets available um, flag. They're all doing something slightly different, so it's um, it's a question of choosing um, what you think is um, is appropriate. I think I'm going to go with rise, and um, click the green check mark, and then I'm going to um, save the image. Now these presets all produce a file size greater than the original dimensions of your photo. That's obviously the meaning of extend background. But the, um, the the size will be the perfect aspect ratio in this case for the Facebook cover. 
So <clears throat> I need to actually reduce it now for the purpose of uploading to, to Facebook. So I'm going to go to File and Save for Web. And you can see it's quite a large size. If we look at this, the, the, the width and the height, the dimensions have been increased to 7926 by 2937. Now if I go into the web page for um, Facebook, I can see that the um, display sizes are different for um, displaying on computers and for mobiles. But there's also an optimum size um, suggested of 851 by 315 and a file size below 100 KB. And that's what this aspect ratio will achieve. So if I click in the width box and delete the 7926, if I type in the optimum size of 851, you can see the height is automatically proportionately adjusted to 315 because Adobe has created the perfect aspect ratio in this guided edit. So I'm going to click Save and I'll just type something like FBC for Facebook cover and click Save. As you can see, the original file size was um, 785 KB and the reduced um, file size with the Facebook dimensions is 205 KB so it's still too large for optimum web page viewing so what we need to do is adjust this quality slider and there's some presets if we go to very high we can see the um, that's the quality of 80, which is still pretty good quality for um, for viewing on the web. And we can see straight away that the proposed file size is 94K. Um, so that's, that's under the um, 100K limit for Facebook. So we can save. And I'm going to, on this occasion, just put reduced. And save again. So I actually have two two copies, well three with the original, but it's the third copy that's been reduced to below 100 KB, which is what I will upload to, to Facebook. Now let's have a look on the web and see how it looks. So let's try another example, and I have this um, image of a contemporary dancer and the background is fairly plain and this these guided edits tend to work best where you have a plain background or a blurred background or a background that is not too busy so let's uh, set the canvas size to square and try auto fill and straight away elements does a pretty good job of making the square format and um, I can save that as, as uh, 1080 by 1080 using the same for, save for web dialog. It's even, even extended the shadows from the feet to the left of the photo. So that's a good example. This next image is a nice beach scene, but um, let's choose a square format again. I think this time we're going to have problems because of the amount of detail in the bottom right hand corner. Let's just click auto fill and see what happens. And as you can see, we get lots of distortion as I expected. Um, so I'm going to undo that and go back to the original image. What we also have under this pull down menu is a custom size. And you can see the original dimensions 1080 by 720. So I know that if I add 360 pixels to the height, I will have a perfectly square image. So I'm going to click on Resize Canvas, and I'm going to drag up. And as I drag, you can see the amount of pixels that are being added. So I'm going to drag all the way to till I get to 360, and there we have 360. And I'm going to click the green check mark to commit that. So I can now just fill the top of the image to make the perfect, um, the perfect square. Um, a photo. So clicking autofill and as you see we now have a square format and it's just refilled the sky which is much easier for the algorithm in this guided edit. Um, I may go into expert mode and do a little bit of cloning of the um, clouds to make it more realistic. So choosing the clone stamp I'm going to sample these clouds over on the right hand side by holding down the alt key and clicking and then maybe just add a couple of spots 
um, like that. And um, I'm quite happy with that. Um, let's resize, and I can save that as 1080 by by 1080. So this image I've made into a birthday greeting for a friend I've been hiking with, and I'm going to choose the from the drop-down menu Pinterest post, and let's try autofill to um, to fill the top and bottom. Clicking on the autofill button, it works quite quickly and it does a pretty good job. Um, we can see we have some repeating patterns here in the sky and a little bit down the bottom here. So this is one example where we could use the spot healing brush to do some blending. So choosing the spot healing brush, you may need to do several swipes just to blend in. And that's looking better all, all, already. This is not looking quite so obvious. Uh, let's try a little bit down here just to um, to blend that in. Not quite what I wanted, and that's better. It just looks um, less obvious than the um, than the original um, photo. The repeating patterns have been removed, and again, I'm quite happy with that. So I can go to File Save for Web and then upload it. So I hope you like this new guided edit, first introduced in Photoshop Elements 2022 for extending the background and creating the perfect social media and paper aspect ratios. So thanks for watching and bye for now.